say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the All right, we're back here on uh, Ron Smith Court as the Lady Senators take on the Lady Musketeers. So we're about to have our uh, starting lineups here for the Musketeers. And your West Morton Lady Senators. Starting lineup this evening, first for the Lady Musketeers. At guard, a 5'9", senior. At one guard, a 5'9", senior, number 12, Ava Sauter. At the other guard, a 5'9", senior, 22, Gracie Lewis. At the other guard, number 24, Madeline Winlow. And, and at one four, we got Kai McKinley. And at the other four, 5'9", senior, Kaylee McKinley, 42. So that's your Lady Musketeers lineup. Now for the Lady Senators. At one guard, a 5'8 junior, Shelby Griffiths. At the other guard, a 5'3 sophomore, number 21, Emma Schmidt. And uh, also, the Lady Senators are without Lily Thompson tonight, so uh, Emma Schmidt's going to have to step up and take her place. And at uh, the other guard, number 34, Meredith Deep, freshman. And at the other forward, a 5'9 junior, number 45, Riley Hall. At the center, a 5'10 sophomore, number 32, Ava Woods. The Lady Senators tonight are going to have to uh, slow this game way down there. yeah kind of like the uh Sadie the Salem Lady Lions did you yeah. know that was like a 26 to 23 point yeah. game uh they held the ball for a lot and this team likes to get up and down the floor and run yeah. so that's Pe one thing going to want to move the ball they're going to get up and down the floor no problem so like we said the, the Lady Senators are going to have to um, slow this game way down so the Musketeers get the tip number 12 she'll pass it to number 24 back to 12 to 22 Gracie Lewis in the corner. She'll drive to 12, Souter. She'll drive, spins, pump fakes, looks to 24, Linwell. Back to Linwell. She'll look. And to 40, McKinley. She'll go up and good. Shelby Griffiths will bring it up for the Lady Senators. Souter with the kind of one-man press there to Emma. She'll go up to Riley. Looks, gets tipped, though. And they'll say it went out on Riley, so that'll be Eastern Musketeers' ball. First turnover of the night for the Lady Senators. Yeah. They're kind of pressing and trapping here early, trying to get a big lead. Well, that's how they, they get out early. They they want to speed up the Lady Senators. So. 
All right. Uh, 22, Lewis with the ball. She'll look. 242, McKinley. 224, Linwell. She'll drive. Kicks it out. 222, Lewis. She'll shoot the three, and it's good. So, quick five and none lead here over the Lady Senators. Shelby will have it to Emma. She looks. Tries to get it back to Shelby. Tipped away by 12 Satter. She'll have the ball. Goes up. Drives. Misses the layup. Rebounded, though, by Lewis. She'll go down to the floor, and they'll call a jump ball. That's two quick turnovers there for the Lady Senators, and that's not a recipe for success tonight. Yeah, that uh, one-man press kind of giving them fifth right now. Shelby will have it. She'll look. Gets it to Meredith. Meredith will kick it to Riley and to Ava. Tries to get it to Emma cutting back door, but Riley gets it to Shelby. To Emma. She'll look. Drives. Pump fake. Tries to shoot, and they'll call foul on the ground though. So 24, Linlo gets her first foul tonight. And to Meredith, she'll look, kicks it to Shelby, cutting. She goes up and gets fouled, so she'll go to the line for two. Yeah, like I said, someone's got to take step up and take Louie Thompson's spot. We know Meredith should play well, like she does, but uh, Louie being the second best scorer and player mainly on this team, Someone's going to have to step up and take that spot. Right. And we're going to have to see Riley Hall or Ava Wood step up tonight and get some get some much-needed yeah. buckets down low um, for the Lady Senators. Shelby misses the first. She'll shoot the second, and it's no good either. Number 40, McKinley will come down with it. She'll get it to Souter. She'll look to 24, Linwell. Back in to McKinley. Back out to Souter. She'll get a screen. Kicks it to Lewis. She'll get it into McKinley. Back out to Linwell. She'll shoot the deep three. No good. Rebounded by Riley Hall, but they're tied up and they're going to call a jump ball, so that'll be Lady Musketeer's ball. Hall with a nice job there. Sealing out, able to uh, get up and get that rebound. Unable to get out of there with it, though. Yeah. Uh, 40 move. McKinley will go up and she'll get fouled by Ava Woods. Yeah, I think. Ava Woods going to pick up her first. That's something that the Lady Senators really can't have tonight is Woods or Riley Hall get into foul trouble. Yeah. And Kenley will hit her first. Gives her three on the, on the uh, three points tonight. Yeah. She'll shoot the second, and it's no good rebounded by Woods. She'll look, gets it to Meredith. Meredith will bring it up. Tries to get to Shelby, but off of loose, well, not loose, Souter's leg. Deaton will take it out. She'll get it in to Shelby. Shelby will bring it up. Gets it to Meredith. Meredith looks, goes on the attack. She'll drive. Goes up. No good, but there is a foul. So she'll go to the line for two. Kaylee McKinney with her second, sorry, McKinley with her second foul. So she's going to go to the bench early here. Right, the first free throw, no good. So 44, True Blood, she will come in for 42 McKinley. Meredith shoots the second, and that one is no, go, no good either. Rebound of five. 40 McKinley. Souter will have it. She'll get it to uh, Lewis. Over to Linwell. She'll give it to True Blood. Back to Lewis. She'll drive back out to True Blood. To McKinley. To Linwell. She'll look. Gets it to Souter. She'll go on the attack. It goes up and it's good. Souter with a nice driving bucket there. Yeah, quick 8 0 lead here for the Musketeers. So, like you said, they're going to get the ball up and down the floor quick and play hard defense and try to trap and press early. And Jay Labatt will get her first action of the night. She'll come in for Emma Smith. When we saw right there, the Lady Senators turned the ball over, and it's one of those you can't have unforced errors. You know, the, the uh, Musketeers are going to cause you to have enough errors as it is. You can't give them away for free, too. Yeah. 
So uh, McKinley, well not McKinley, Lula will have it. She'll try to get it to McKinley and she overthrows it. So Senator Ball timeout. Senators, it will be a 30 second timeout. So we'll take a quick commercial break. High school football fans, welcome back to Friday night. To pure spirit. To pure sport. Welcome back to high school football. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back! This is Friday night. This is Indiana high school football. This is your IHSAA. Alright, we're back here in West Washington Junior Senior High School on the Ron Smith Court. The Lady Musketeers up 8-0 here early against the Lady Senators. So this uh, one-man press is kind of giving Shelby and Meredith some fits right now and just some easy turnovers here for the uh, Senators. So Shelby will bring it up. She'll give it to Meredith, who will bring it up. She goes, passes it to Jayla. She'll go on the attack, brings it back out, gets it to Meredith, to Shelby. She'll get it into Riley. She's going to turn, look, doesn't shoot it to Meredith. Pump fakes, drives, and gets the, oh, she missed uh, Ava Woods with the rebound, though, and she gets the and one. Nice bucket there by Ava Woods. Yeah, now hopefully everyone's got the butterflies out of their stomach ready to play. We've missed, <laughs> yeah. well, I think, four free throws and a couple of easy layups that we should have hit. Ava will shoot, and it's good. So now it's 3-8. to eight. Lace Center's kind of crawling back here. Souter, she'll bring it up. She's going to look. Gets it to McKinley. Well, not McKinley. Linwell. Back to Linwell. They're she'll trying to look. feed the post on that side against Ava Woods. Yeah. And Lewis will go on the attack. No good. Tipped away by Shelby. And Shelby will bring it up for the Lady Senators. She'll look to Meredith. Meredith's going to look. Gets Riley Hall wide open. She'll go on the attack. Gets it to Jayla. She'll shoot. No good. Rebounded by Lewis. Well, Souter. She'll bring it up, gets it to Linwell. She'll go on the attack, but loses the ball, so Lady Senator ball. So now we're kind of seeing mistakes from both yeah, teams. I that's think that's Musketeer's second turnover. Third, third, third turnover. So, so Griffiths, she'll bring it up. She looks. And oh. just goes right in between Riley Hall's legs. That's what I was just talking about. You can't have unforced errors like that. That's yeah. where that's where Pekin makes you pay, and it – it gets ugly real quick. So Sadder will bring it up. Guarded by Jayla. She'll look, get a screen. Drive goes on the attack. Blocked by Deaton, though. She gets her own rebound, though. And then stolen away by Deaton. So Meredith with a big defense play there with the block and is still in the same uh, possession. To Jayla, she'll look. Gets tied up, and they'll call a jump ball, but it's still Senator ball. Three twenty-two left to go here in the first. So Jayla will have it, the freshman. She gets tied up, but gets it away to Shelby. Tipped away. Shelby will recover it, though. She'll bring it up. Gets it to Meredith, who looks. Gets trapped in the corner, which is not a good place to be against <laughs> this Musketeers defense. Back to Griffiths, and it'll go off her leg. So another uh, turnover there from the Senators. And uh, Meredith's kind of telling them right now to just calm down and just play smart. Sadler, she'll bring it up. She'll look to Lewis. She'll go on the attack, kicks it to McKinley. She'll look to Linwell. She'll try to get a true blood, gets a tip though. Then she does get a true blood. Souter, she'll pump fake, gets it to Linwell. She'll shoot the deep three, no good. Rebounded by Riley Hall to Griffiths. Shelby, she'll bring it up. She looks, stops, goes, gets it to Deaton. She uh, picks her dribble up, gets it to Riley Hall, to Ava Woods. She pump fakes, shoots, no good. Oh. But she's going to go line for two. <laughs> Gracie Lewis picks up her first foul of the game. Ava Woods goes back to the line where she's hit her only free throw attempt. And she hits her second one, too.
She'll shoot the second one, and it's good too. So, four to eight for the Lady Senators. Eastern up though with two twenty. It's four to five, and with two twenty-five to go. Souter will have it. She'll get it to Limwell. She'll look to McKinley. Back to Limwell. She'll get a screen from McKinley to True Blood. She'll look. Gets it. Souter stolen away by Jayla. Jayla almost got there in time. Reached with the wrong hand. You always want to reach with the hand closest to the ball. Yeah. And she reached with the wrong hand. And that's that the the half second late step there. So. Yeah, and that's something Jayla's really good at stealing the ball away from teams. She gets a lot of steals in JV and varsity. So, so well, who is that? Lewis will have it. She'll go to the line. Gets fouled by Shelby. I believe that's Shelby's first foul of the night. Yeah, it is. She'll shoot, and it's good. So Lewis hits her first free throw tenth of the night. Lewis will shoot the second, and it's also good. Gives her five on the night. Shelby, she'll take it up. Gets it to D. She'll look. Call play. Shelby will call another one, I think. And she'll get it to Jayla. Jayla makes a move. Gets it tipped, though, but Riley Hall gets it to Meredith. She'll look. Gets it into Ava Woods. Spins. Goes up. Blocked by McKinley. So, Senator Ball. Nice spin move there by Ava. Yeah, McKinley was just right there to send that one out of bounds. So, they're doing exactly what they need to do is getting it in the post and trying to let Ava or Riley work down there. Shelby will have it. Gets it to Deaton. Deaton will go on the attack. She picks up her dribble though. Gives it to Shelby. Over to Jayla. Jayla will look. But gives it to Riley. Riley gives it to Meredith. Meredith looks. Down to the end to Ava. Palm fakes and then shoots it. No good. Rebounded by 12 Souter. She'll bring it up for the Musketeers to Lewis. Thanks about the three. Doesn't shoot it to True Blood. To McKinley. She'll try to get it down to or McKinley. Uh, Lewis gets it. She shoots a three, and it's good. So that's her eighth point of the night. Yeah, two threes and two free throws. Yeah. <laughs> so five to thirteen here with about a minute to go in the first quarter. Lady Musketeers on top. Riley Hall will have it. She'll dribble. Gives it to Jayla. To Meredith. Meredith looks down at Riley, but drives. Stops. Gives it to Shelby. Shelby will. Go on the attack, but brings it back out. Jayla will have it. Sauter right there in her face. To Riley. She'll pump fake. Drives. Gives it back to Shelby. Shelby will go on the attack and block by McKinley. But Jayla gets the rebound. Goes up. No good. Rebounded by 12. Sauter. To Lewis. Lewis fumbles it though, but recovers it. And to McKinley. She'll go up on Woods. No good. Rebounded by Meredith. Meredith will bring it up fast. She makes a move. Drives. Brings it back out to Riley. Riley looks. She'll put it on the floor. To Deaton. She'll look down at Ava. And Miss Messmore is kind of not happy about that. Yeah. She had a Ava, wide open Ava chance was, to get it there. Yeah. Yeah, Ava was open. That needs to go to her. And there's no time. The late centers were not looking at the clock. 5 to 13 here going into the second quarter on Ron Smith Court. Lady Musketeers up. And we'll take a quick commercial break. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. Alright, we're back here on Ron Smith Court and West Washington Junior Senior High School. 
as the Lady Senators are in a deep hole here. Not really a deep hole, but 5-13 to 13 here in the go going into the second quarter. And uh, the Musketeers, uh, one-man press and kind of trap, and as soon as they get over the line, it's kind of giving Shelby and Meredith fits here early. And we've only seen the Senators sub one player in, and that was Jay Labatt came in for Schmidt. Um, you know, so at the pace that the – the Musketeers want to play, that's going to make for a, a long, hard night for the Lady Senators. Yeah, a lot of subs are probably going to get their first varsity action of the year. So, Deaton, she'll be on Souter. Souter will have it. She'll get a True Blood to Lewis. Gets a screen from True Blood to McKinley. She'll look down at True Blood. Doesn't get it there. Gets it to Linwell. She'll look. Gets it to Souter. But kicked by Deaton. So... Jayla, she wanted, she got that thing and wanted to run with yeah. it, but there's kickball violation. So, Souter, she'll look to Lewis. Lewis will have it to True Blood. To Souter, she'll get a screen from True Blood. Souter will go on the attack, spin, pump face, but double dribble. Kind of lost it there on yeah. the spin move. wasn't able to hold on to it. So. Meredith, she'll get it to Shelby. And Shelby will bring it up for the Lady Senators. With Lewis right there on her. To Jayla with Souter in, right, in her face the whole time she's been in. Mer Deaton will drive. Kind of gets fouled, but no one calls it. And now they're going to call. It's going to hit the side of the, uh, side of the, backboard, side of the backboard, which has a support on it. So that makes that out of bounds. Senator's going to set up a press here. Shelby will be there on McKinley. And the other McKinley, no, that was one low pass to McKinley. McKinley spins and gets it in. Shelby will bring it up. She'll make a move. Drives, kicks it out to Jayla, though. Jayla will try to drive. She'll look, gets it to the hole. Hall will go on the attack, goes up, gets fouled. So she'll go to the line for two. Nice drive there by Riley to get in the lane and get up and make the Musketeers fouler. Hannah Trueblood's first personal of the night. And Abby Young will come in if I, uh, did she play last game? I think this is her first varsity uh, action. I think she got in some earlier in the year, but it's been a couple of games since we've seen her. Yeah. So. Probably her first varsity action at home. Riley, she'll shoot the second, and that one's good too. So 7-15, and uh, Lady Musketeer still on top. Stolen away by Deaton in this press to Shelby, to Jayla. Jayla will drive, crossover, goes up, kind of foul but no call, and Abby Young will tip <laughs> the ball out of bounds. Lucky Abby didn't get a foul called on her there. Yeah, she kind of went over the back there, but yeah. no call. Uh, True Blood will get it in to Linwell. She'll look back to True Blood, gets it to McKinley, uh, across the court to True Blood. Up to Lewis. She'll get it into McKinley. Two people on her. And Abby Young will get the foul. It's an and one opportunity there. Yeah. So she'll shoot the and one opportunity. And it's in and out. Rebounded by Meredith. She'll get it to Shelby. Shelby will give it to Jayla. They will spin. Gets it to Deaton. Deaton will go on the attack, but kicks it back out to Shelby. Riley with it. Back to Meredith. She'll shoot the deep three, and it's no good. Rebounded by 40 McKinley for the Musketeers. And Lewis, she'll, well, not Lewis. Souter will kick it up to Linwell. Back to Souter. She'll look. Gets it to Linwell. She'll go on the drive. Riley Hall goes up strong. And so does she, and she'll get the easy bucket. Her first bucket of the night. So, uh, Deaton will bring it up for the Senators. She'll look. She'll get it to Jayla. Jayla will get it to Shelby. Back to Meredith. Meredith will go on the attack. Looks. Tries to go up, but gets blocked by Linwell. Souter with it. To True Blood. Out to Souter. She'll pump fake, drive, kicks it to Lewis, to Linwell, back to Lewis. Lewis will get a screen from McKinley. 
And to Souter, she'll pump fake, gets it to McKinley. She'll go up strong, no good rebound by Riley Hall. She'll look, gets it to Shelby. And Shelby will get it to Meredith. Meredith looks, puts the ball on the floor, drives, spins. Goes up strong and off of the Lady Musketeers. And a Smith, she'll come back in for Shelby Griffith. A nice spin move there by Meredith, but then gets bodied up and unable to get in the air with the ball. So, Yeah, not too many foul calls tonight. They're kind of just letting them play a little. Uh, Sadder with the ball. She'll bring it up after getting a steal. She had a wide up three. Doesn't take it. McKinley gets it, though, and she goes up strong and gets the bucket. And timeout, Lady Senators. Lady Senators trail 21-7 here. Uh, just under five minutes to go in the first half of play. Yeah, and we'll take a quick commercial break here on WWSR. High school sports fans, welcome back to game time. To pure spirit. To pure sport. Welcome back to High School Sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana High School Sports. This is your IHSAA. All right, we're back here on WWSR as the Lee Center is trailing 7-21 to 21 here in the second quarter with 4.55 to go. So Schmidt, she'll bring it up, gets it to Jayla. Jayla looks, gets it to Woods, to Deaton. Deaton looks, looking for Schmidt, she gets it there. Schmidt looks at Woods, but Lemuel was on her. Schmidt gets it to Woods now on the deep wing. Woods will get it to Jayla, to Meredith. Meredith looks, gets it her pocket pick, but Souter will get on the floor and tips it back in, but Deaton will come back with it. And Schmidt goes on the drive, shoots it, and no good. Rebounded by McKinley. Then she'll get it to Souter. Souter will get it up quick to Lewis. She pump fakes. Gets it back to Souter, to McKinley, to Linwell. She'll look, spins. Gets it to Lewis, to Souter. She'll shoot the deep three, and it's good. So we've seen a little bit of everything from the Musketeers. We've seen some threes, and we've seen a little bit of post work here. Schmidt with it, she'll get it to Jayla. She looks to Ava, but Sauer, Souter intercepts it. She'll go on the attack, sidestep. No good, rebounded by Jayla. She'll bring it up for the Lady Senators to Meredith. Meredith gets it to Schmidt. She drives, gets a wide open shot, and it's good. So good there, good move there by Emma, getting wide open, getting an easy jumper. And tipped away by Jayla, so the Lady Musketeers will retain. Riley Hall comes in for Jayla after a quick break for her. Senators go with a, a bigger lineup here with all three bigs from the bench on, on, yeah. on the floor. So, so Lumo will have it. She'll look to True Blood. True Blood drives on uh, Ava, and she'll get the easy bucket. So Senators not trying to foul. They're just going straight up. They're not trying to block it or anything. As Meredith got some foul trouble last week, so... They're trying to save their players and not foul out. Riley will have it. She'll look, gets it to Meredith. Looking down at Ava. Ava's and, trying and, to get posted yeah. there, but. Can't Emma will get have it. Set. She'll get it to Riley. Ava will have it. She's going to put it on the floor to Riley. Riley pump fakes. Goes in back out to Ava. Ava will shoot the three. No good, rebounded by Lewis, but it goes out of bounds. The Senators will retain. 52, Emma Dean, she'll check in for number 40, McKinley. Well, yeah, McKinley. 26 to nine here, two and a half to go in the first half. Woods will have it. She'll get it to Emma. Emma will look. She'll set the offense up to Riley. Riley will look. Gets it to Meredith. Meredith looks down at Abby, doesn't get it there. Meredith goes on the drive, tries to go up, but gets fouled by True Blood, and that'll be her second foul of the night. True Blood just kind of in the wrong spot at the wrong time, reached in as 
Meredith was going up. Meredith will shoot the first, bounces around, no good. And Shelby, she'll come in for Abby Young. Man. And Meredith will hit the second. So 10 to 26, Senators down by 16 with 2.20 to go in the second quarter. That's Meredith's first point of the night, so. True Blood, she'll shoot the three. No good, rebounded by Schmidt. She'll look and she'll take it up for the Senators fast. She'll stop, gets it to Riley. Riley will look, to, tries to go deep with Gardner Pipe. And Riley will drive, she'll look, gets it to Woods, who will go on the attack. And she goes up strong and and one. That's Ava's seventh points of the night, her first points here in the second quarter. So, And so Ava getting the Senators going here early. And number 10, True Blood, she'll check in for True Blood. Ava will shoot the and one opportunity and it bounces around no good rebound by 34 Jackson. No, that's 24, my bad, Limwell. Lewis will have it, she'll go to Dean. Dean will miss though. So. Rebounded by Riley, up to Emma. Emma will bring it up for the Lady Senators. She'll set the offense up to Riley. Gets a screen to Dean. Deaton will go on the attack. Gets it to Shelby. Bobbled around though. Shelby recovers it though. Back to Deaton. She looks at Ava. Gets it to Emma. Emma goes on the attack to Shelby. Tries to get it to Ava but tipped away. But Ava gets it though. Back to Shelby. To Riley. Riley will look. Almost stolen away, but Riley recovers it. To Emma tipped away by Lewis. But they'll say it was out on Emma. So Lady Musketeers will have the ball with 50 seconds to go. 12 to 26 here in the second quarter. Sider will have it. She'll make a move to Lewis. Lewis will get it in. But Linwell, she'll go up and score. Shelly, she'll bring it up. She's gonna look to Meredith. Meredith gets it to Riley. Riley looks, gets it to Emma. To Shelby. Shelby goes on the attack and goes up. No good rebounded by Meredith though, and she'll go up no good either. Rebounded by uh, number 12, Souter, but they'll call foul on number 45, Riley Hall. 12.2 left to go here in the first half. Lady Senators trail 28 to 12. Riley Hall's first foul of the night. Well, well, she'll pass it into Lewis with about 10 seconds to go. Up to Dean, to Souter. She looks at the clock, so she knows she's good. Five. And she'll go up with about two seconds left, and it's no good rebounded by nobody. Tipped out of bounds. So that's the end of your first half here on Ron Smith Court. Lady Senators trailing 20, well, 12 to 28. So we'll take a quick, well, we'll take a long commercial break and for your halftime. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. 9421 or just visit our website. 
As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. United Producers Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, Here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Knighting. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Knighting. And Commissioner Knighting, we're in it now. We are playing basketball. We're wrestling. We, we have wrapped up, as we know, the fall sports now into the winter sports. It's a busy, busy time. We have a lot of games. The IHSAA, we're fortunate, like a lot of states, our young men and women play literally uh, with the exception of Sunday, every day of the week. And, and it is a monumental task to put on these types of events night after night after night. Big school, small school, city school, country school, doesn't matter. There's a lot going on. 
Well, first of all, it's it's what we do in Indiana, and we've done for many, many years, and providing a platform for student athletes to, to show their skills and coaches to coach and, and communities to gather. It is a really, you know, that's just what's special about what we do. But, man, I tell you, Coach, it's it, it, I often walk in, the, the first person I want to go talk and thank to as I walk in the door is that person that's sitting out there with the cold weather uh, right inside the front door. <laughs> And it's cold outside, and but they're sitting there selling tickets, and they've done it year in and year out for the athletic department so schools can operate events. And, you know, I always want to get around the place. I just want to make sure those people know they're appreciated for doing what they're, they're doing, and they're a big part of, of, of an athletic event also. Well, they really are because oftentimes the person you're talking about is, is a member of the faculty who's been at school all day long, have families themselves, and uh, if some meager $5, whatever, an hour, they make a little bit of money. But they, they're doing this because they're aware that without the infrastructure of, of people like them, you can't have these events. You, know, you, need, you need the teams, you need the coaches, you need the officials, but you need the ticket takers, uh, you need the people popping the popcorn, selling the consent. You need all those people to make this experience what it is and to generate that much necessary and much needed uh, revenue for your programs. That's exactly absolutely right, Coach. You know, and you know, revenue, and it's not anybody. They're not out there trying to make you know, no, uh, a lot of money. They're trying just to keep the lights on, the officials paid, the bus, you know, gas in the buses, and uniforms on the kids, and and so you know, it, 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 these people all choose, and I always like to say they choose to they choose to work in the eye of the public. They choose to interact with the public as they walk in, so a parent can can walk in and. And watch their child mm-hmm. play. And, you know, I just think sometimes anybody that's in public service, whether it be a coach, a teacher, or a police officer, or, or anybody, we forget to really recognize what they do and the give back that they do for the communities. Uh, because they're just the salt of their people who truly care about right. the kids that right. they see in the classroom every day or whether it be in the hallway, the lunchroom, uh, or getting on and off the bus. And, 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 you know, I just think we all need to step back and, and thank those people for spending their time so children and student-athletes get to play in a, in a, in a time-honored tradition, which is a high school education-based athletic program. Paul Neidig with us from the IHSAA talking about all things IHSAA related. You and I are both former athletic directors. Uh, We would not have been able to have any kind of success or be able to do our jobs without the secretaries. And I dare say those dear athletic secretaries all over our state uh, are the unsung heroes of athletics in in our entire state. No question, no question. I was always blessed with great partners and in the work that I've done and athletic secretaries or assistants come in many titles. But, you know, uh, I can think back to, to Alicia when I was in Evansville and and there were, sometimes there would be kids that's having a rough day and, and, and that athletic secretary is consoling a kid mm-hmm. with a hug and a, it'll be all right. And that's certainly not in the job descriptions, but that's what they choose to do to help kids along the way. And they're there to care about kids um, and student athletes, absence of a parent. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. All right, we're back here at Ron Smith Court. The Lady Senators are down 12 to 28 as we kick off the second half. So, uh, not the same game plan that uh, Miss Messmore has as uh, Jerry Hickey did. <laughs> yeah. You know, the Lady Musketeers already scored 28 points. You're, you're exactly right. Uh, coach didn't didn't slow it down uh, quite like Hickey did. Um, you know, tried to tried to run with them some. We'll see what she's got up her sleeve for the second half. Um, you know, she's got on the long black windbreaker, so I'm sure she's got some trick up her sleeve. She's going to try to slow this game down a little bit. Yeah. So, Meredith, she'll get it into Shelby. And, and Lewis is right there. To so Meredith, she'll get it to Hall. Tipped away by McKinley. 
and there'll be a fight for it, and that's going to be Senator Ball, though. Well, no, they'll give it to Eastern. Sider will have it. She'll get it to Lewis and to McKinley. Blocked by Riley Hall, but they'll call foul. So McKinley will go to the line for two. Kenley shoots the first, and it's no good off the back of the rim. She was looking for her first points of the night. And she'll shoot the second, and that one's also no good. Rebounded by the other McKinley, but she'll save it inbound to Souter. She'll get a wide open three. It looks long, and it is. Rebounded by Meredith. She'll have it, slows it down, gives it to Schmidt. She'll bring it up, looks at Riley, and gets it there. And Riley will have it. She'll give it to Shelby. Back to Riley. Riley looks, puts it on the ground. Tries to get it to Emma on the back door. Cut, stolen away by Souter. Souter will bring it up for the Musketeers. And when we'll have it to Lewis, she'll get it in to McKinley. Oh, it goes up on Ava Woods, no good. Rebounded by Meredith. She'll push it up fast and she'll post, spin up, goes up. No good. Rebounded by McKinley. She'll get it up to Lewis, up to the other McKinley. She'll turn, shoot, no good, in and out. Rebounded by Meredith, up to Shelby. Shelby will look to Meredith on the wing. To Riley. Riley's going to look. Gets it tipped away by Lewis. And then McKinley steals it and they'll call foul on Riley. It's so, Riley's third. Yeah, she, third. She picked up a quick one early and then uh, another one right there. So her third, got to be careful, doesn't want the fourth in this third quarter. Yeah. Uh, so McKinley, she'll get it up to the other. I assume it's her sister, McKinley. Yeah, I would guess. I don't know that for yeah. sure. To Souter. She'll look. Gets it to Limwell, to McKinley. Looks at her sister, gets it in there. Back to her sister, and she'll go on the attack. Falls, and she'll go to the line for two. Like Schmidt got the worst of that encounter there. Yeah, kind of <laughs> broke McKinley's fall there. Yeah. She'll shoot, and it's good. She'll shoot her second, and that one is also good. Riley Hall, she'll get it in to Shelby. To Meredith. She'll look. Gets it to Emma too high, and Emma tips it, tries to save it, but can't. So there's another turnover for the Lady Senators. Jay Labatt, she'll check in for Riley Hall with three fouls. Souter will get it with Emma Smith right there. Souter will go up. She'll get a screen from McKinley. The other McKinley will have it to Lewis on the wing. She'll make a move, drives, kicks it back out to McKinley, to Souter. Souter gets a screen from McKinley, back to McKinley, but tipped away by Jayla. Like I said, she's pretty good at getting those tipped steals. And yeah, getting her hand in the passing yeah. lane. So we will have it to Meredith. She'll look. Tries to get a jump ball. Linwell doesn't, but yeah, it is a jump ball, I think. No, they'll call a foul. Call a foul. Looks like a jump ball from here, but... Gonna be her second. Yeah. Meredith will get it in to Emma. Emma will have it back to Meredith. 
to Jayla. Jayla will get it to Shelby. Shelby will give it to Meredith down. She makes post up, gets it to Ava Wood it about works. on the uh, elbow, but she'll, she will not make it. And she'll get it to Souter and Limwell with the rebound there to Lewis. Back to Souter, to Limwell, to McKinley. Down into the other McKinley. She'll go up on Ava Woods and she gets the bucket. Shelby will have it. Two. Jayla. Jayla gets the bear to backdoor cut by Emma. Gets Ava wide open, but it goes in between her legs. And get on the floor and they'll call a jump ball, so stay Senator ball. Kind of bad break there for the Senators for it to go for um, Schmidt to be so wide open and then get it to Ava, but it go in between her legs. Yeah. Jayla will get it, but tipped away by Souter, and Linwell will come down with it. So Souter, she'll bring it up. She'll drive, floater, no good, rebounded by McKinley. She goes up and gets the and one opportunity. McKinley starting to fill up the uh, point column there. She's got 15 through three quarters. So Abby Young, she'll come in for number 32, Ava Woods. And she'll hit the and one opportunity. So Shelby will bring it up for the Lady Senators, 12 to 35 with four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Meredith will have it, gets it into Jayla. Jayla looks back to Meredith. Meredith fumbles though. She'll get it to Jayla. Jayla looks to Shelby, she gets it there. To Meredith, she'll look, gets it into Jayla. Jayla goes up, gets kind of bodied in there. No good, rebounded by Souter. Souter will have a wide up three, doesn't take it though, passes it to Linwell. She'll pump fake, drive. Gets it to Lewis, but tipped away by Meredith, so Emma will come down with it. And they're gonna call foul on 42, McKinley. She is not happy with that call yeah. at all. And 44, and a true blood she'll come in for uh, McKinley. Kaylee McKinley. Yeah, who's got three, so. Yeah. And they're gonna call five seconds. So just nothing really going for the Senators yeah. tonight. They haven't scored in this third quarter yet, yeah. so. True Blood, she'll get it into Linwell, up to Souter. Souter gets tipped from behind, but she'll recover it. To Lewis, to True Blood. She'll get it, tries to get it in, McKinley does. Kicks it out to Souter, she'll have the wide open three. She shoots it, no good, re and they'll call a push on True Blood. <laughs> As you see Jayla back go flying across the lane yeah. sideways. And Riley Hall shall come in for a mare to deep. So Shelby will bring it up. With this lineup on the floor, the question is, who's going to be the scorer for the Senators? Yeah. Jayla will have it to Riley. She'll look to Emma. She's going to look to Abby Young. She pump fakes, drives, goes up. No good rebound by Riley. She'll go up with it and get, goes to the line for two free throws. Actually she misses the attempt. Like we said, you know, who's going to be the scorer for the Senators with this out there? Riley Hall looks like a really good option. Yeah. And she'll shoot her first free throw, and it's good. So True Blood, she'll come in for True Blood. Riley Hall will go up for a second, and it's good. So she's two from, I think, four for four? Three for three. Three from for three. Okay. Oh, so no, sorry. Three for four. She missed her first four. one there. So uh, Lewis, she'll have it. To Souter, to Limwell in the like deep wing corner slash, 
And she'll get it. Well, McKinley will come down with the rebound. To Souter in the corner. She'll get a screen. She looks to McKinley. Goes up. And they're going to call foul on Abby Young, I think. That's her second foul. Sixteen so far on the game for McKinley. She'll go up and make that one. And she'll shoot the second one, and it's also good. So Shelby will bring it up. She'll get it to Riley. Riley looks into Jayla. Jayla's gonna look, drive, goes up strong. No good rebounded by Riley, who gets blocked from behind. Rebounded by Abby Young. So it'll be Musketeer ball as uh, Linwell takes it out, gets it into Lewis. Just gets it back to Linwell. Up to Truewood. She'll get it to McKinley. She'll go up, and it's good. Jayla will have it. She'll look. So Riley gets it back to Jayla. Jayla goes up again. No good rebounded by Souter. She'll get it up to True Blood, and it gets tipped by Emma Schmidt. I'm gonna stay, Lady Musketeer Ball. McKinley will have it. She'll get it to Limwell. She'll look, drives, gets it to Souter. She pump fakes, drives, gets it to Lewis. Back to Limwell. She'll pump fake, drives. It's an open layup. No good rebounded by Abby Young. To Shelby. And stolen away by Souter. Up to Lewis. And that gets stolen away by Emma. Emma will look. Gets it to Shelby. Shelby has a wide open lane. She attacks. Floater. Gets fouled. So she'll go to the line for two. 50 seconds to go here in the third, 39-14, all Lady Musketeers. Shelby will shoot. No good. Oh, it is, is good. good, yeah. That's a bank. Yeah. The bank is still open in Campbellsburg. I guess. It looked super long, so I didn't <laughs> it did. think it was it going It looked in. really long, but it banked in. For Shelby, so it gives her her first point on the night. And Jayla will get subbed out by Ava Woods, and she'll shoot the second free throw. And that one's also good. And uh, Meredith, she'll come in for Shelby. And Souter, she'll bring it up. She gets a screen from Wimwell to uh, Bat. She'll look to True Blood, who go on the attack, kicks it out to Linwell, she shoots the deep three, and that is no good rebounded by McKinley, who get it to uh, bat back to Linwell, to True Blood in the corner, she pump fakes, gets it to Souter, and she'll get a play from the coach and she'll run it. Under 20 seconds, probably looking for the last shot here. Yeah, Linwell with it, she'll get it to bat, back to Souter, like zero seconds. Oh, well, I read the clock wrong. Eight seconds left. And three, and they're going to call a foul. So True Blood will go to the line for three. Ava Wood's going to pick up that foul. Foul on 32. Oh, not a shooting foul, I guess. Apparently after the shot. True. This isn't the NBA. They don't nope. get those, yeah. Souter will have it. She'll get it to McKinley with four seconds left into Souter. 
and she'll go up, hit the side of the backboard, and no good. So that'll be the end of the third quarter here on Ron Smith Court. Lady Senators trailing 16 to 39, and we'll go to a quick commercial break. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. We chose West Washington because of the academic excellence to help prepare me to be a doctor. We chose West Washington because of the quality of our athletics and because of the championships we've won. We chose West Washington because once you step into these walls, you're family. Alright, we're back here on Ron Smith Court as the Lady Senators trying 16-39 here to start the fourth quarter. Meredith, she'll get it in to Emma. She'll look, gets it to Ava. Ava will look, gets it to Riley. She's got a backdoor cutter. Meredith wide open, but no one gets it there. Ava will go up on three people. No good rebound by Riley. Well, tipped away, rebounded by McKinley. To Souter. To Bat. She pump fakes. Gets it back to Souter. She'll go up, spin. No, well, doesn't take the shot. To McKinley, back to Bat. To Souter. She'll look to Limwell. To Trueblood. She'll drive. Gets tipped away by Abby Young. And she'll get it to Emma Smith, Ava Woodwell. Emma will have it, gets it to Meredith. To Ava. She'll look, gets it to Riley. Riley will look to Ava. Ava's going to drive, put on fake. Well, it's actually a shot. Ava will have it, gets it to Emma. She goes up and gets travel, yeah. So Senator, classic Ryan Shimon there yelling <laughs> at the rest. Senator Nation is not happy yeah. with that call. <laughs> and then Schmidt's going to compound it by picking up a foul at the other end. One for one. I guess they're in the bonus. Yeah. Yeah, they are. I like what the Senators are doing. They're getting the ball to their bigs. We're just relying on them to have to dribble it too much. Yeah. And she'll make the first one. It's one for one, so she'll have another one. <laughs> Everyone else. Everybody thought yeah. it was was no good, So, or the second shot, because Riley took it out, and Ava was going back the other way. And that one's good, too, so Emma will have it. She'll bring it up for the Lady Senators. To Riley. Riley will look. To Meredith. Meredith will look. Gets it to Smith. Emma looks down at Ava. And she'll get it there. But Ava on the wing. She'll get it into Riley. Back to Ava. She'll drive. Tipped away though. To Smith. She'll drive. Goes up. And they'll call foul on the floor. Like I said, I like what the Senators are doing. They're getting the ball to the bigs. It's just they're getting it to them out on the three-point line. That's not, not where we want yeah. our bigs to, to have to handle the ball out there. Yeah, the Lady Musketeers have played good defense inside so far tonight. Emma will have it. She'll look. She'll get it to Riley. Riley looks. Gets it to Ava. To Meredith. To Emma. 
Ava will have it in the corner. She'll get it to Riley. Looks. Gives it to Deaton. Deaton will have it. She spins. Goes on the attack. Spins back. Tries to get it to uh -oh. Emma and is stolen away by True Blood. She'll have a wide open layup. And it's good. And Emma will bring it up. She'll get it to Riley. Looking down at Abby Young. She'll get it there. Abby will pump fake. Goes up. No good. Rebounded by Riley Hall. She'll go up. No good. And rebounded by McKinley. And Abby Young are fighting for it. And it looks like McKinley will come down. It's Abby's third. Yeah, Abby's third. This mess, we're not very happy with no. that call right there at all. <laughs> I can't say I blame her. Abby fell and wasn't even around the girl. That, yeah. <laughs> so. Kenley will shoot her second after she makes the first, and that'll be good too. Meredith will take it out. She'll get it to Emma. Emma will set up the offense. Five minutes to go here in the fourth. Lady Senators trail 45-16. Ava will have it to Riley and to Abby. Pump fake and goes up again and she gets fouled. So she'll have two at the line. So now the Lady Senators are in the one and one. And she'll miss the first one. She'll shoot the second one, and that one's good. That one's good. So when we'll, we'll take it out, she'll get it to Souter. She'll bring it up to True Blood. Looks to McKinley to bat. That will go on the attack. Back to when well, she shoots the deep three, and that is no good off the back of the rim. Rebounded by really nobody, and they'll get timeout. Lady Musketeers. 30 second timeout, so we'll take a quick commercial break here on WWSR. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. 9421 or just visit our website. All right, we're back here on Ron Smith Court. Lady Senators trailing 45 17 with 435 to go in the fourth quarter. Souter will look, she'll get it in to number 22, Lewis. Lewis will get it to True Blood. She'll look to Bat, and Bat will have it. She gets a screen from Dean. She'll get it to True Blood. Crimson Souter back to bat. Bat gets it to Lewis. She'll look down at Dean, but kicks it off to Souter. Backdoor cut by True Blood on the ground, and people are getting down there for it. Abby Young on the ground again. Yeah. 34. Uh, Bracey Jackson, she'll check in for 22 Lewis. Souter will have it. She'll pump fake drives. Goes up strong, but gets blocked by Meredith Deep. And she'll push the ball fast. She'll post up, kick, tries to get it to Elena Schmidt. No good. And it gets kicked out of bounds, so the Lady Senators will retain the ball. Elena Schmidt will get it. She'll look at her sister Emma. Doesn't get it there, though. Gets it to Meredith. 
Well, Meredith looks at ammo, but it's stolen away by Bat. She'll go, gets it to True Blood. True Blood looks back to Bat. Over to Souter. She'll pump fake. Tries to drive. But Meredith's right there. Gets a screen. Souter will get it to Dean. Dean looks. Tipped away by Abby Young, but Dean recovers it. Bat will have it. She'll drive. Kicks it back out, though. Souter with it. She'll drive. Meredith right there and travel, yeah. I was going to say, got to be a walk. Yeah. <laughs> she covered a lot of ground there. So Emma will have it. She'll get it to Abby. She gets it to Meredith. Meredith pump fake, goes on the attack. But the driving lane is closed down there. And Emma will have it. She gets it back to Meredith. Meredith looks to Emma. Emma drives, gets tipped away by Bat on the ground, but Elena Schmidt will get it. Oh, and Bat tips it away again, and they'll just let it go out of bounds. Kylie Bat all over the floor there, tipping the ball twice. Yeah. You know, most, team, most teams up by a lot don't do that, but they're still getting down and hustling back and forth. Just under three minutes to go here in the fourth. So Ava Woods will have it. She'll shoot from about the free throw line, and that'll be good. Gives her nine tonight. Jackson will have it. She'll get it at the bat to Souter. She'll look. Gets a screen from Jackson. Souter back to Dean. Dean will look. Put it on the floor to bat to Jackson to bat. Dean, she'll get it to Souter, to Bat, she'll pump fake, drives, gets it to True Blood, she'll shoot the three, and that is no good, air ball rebounded by Jackson, they're going to get a foul on Meredith Deaton, I think. Yep. See Adele Brown check in. Yeah, she'll check in for Meredith. So Meredith will probably check out for the rest of the game. And no good on the second free throw. Rebounded by Emma. She'll drive. And the ball gets tipped away. So it'll be Musketeer ball. Jackson, she'll get it into Souter. Souter will go. She'll get it to Emma. To Dean. Tries to get a true blood, doesn't. And blocked by Woods. And <laughs> rebounded by Elena Schmidt. Doesn't seem like anybody can hold on to that ball. Uh, true blood finally gets it after the tip from Jackson. And she'll get it to Jackson. Back out to Souter. She'll pump fake. And she'll drive. Goes up. And that'll be good. Timeout, Lady Musketeers. I think it was just a timeout to get a player in. Yeah. And now Lady Cameron will come in. She'll come in for Emma. And so will Eva. She'll come in for number 32, Ava Woods. She'll get it to Elena. Back to Laney, into Abby. She rips it away, gets it to Adele. She'll shoot the uh, high two and she'll make it. Nice job by Adele Brown. Yeah, that'll probably be her first varsity points I, on her I believe uh, high it is. career. Jackson will have it. And she'll go up and get fouled. So Jackson will shoot two free throws here. 49 seconds to go here. Lady Senators trail 48-21. Jackson unable to knock down that first one. And she'll 
she'll shoot the second one, and that one is also no good. Rebounded by number 22, Lewis. She'll get it to 20. Bat and inside of Dean, no good. Rebounded by Dean, but they'll call over and back. Yeah. I think it was over Laney Cameron, yeah, <laughs> shortest player on the floor, and then on the Dean, biggest player on Dean the, floor. The, the tallest player on the floor. So. Oh, uh, they called it over Eva O'Toole's back. Both of them were there, so. Yeah. So Eva will shoot. And that one is no good. Rebounded by Dean. Dean will get it to Bat. Bat will bring it up with about 35 seconds left. To True Blood into Dean. She'll go up. No good. Rebounded by. Rebounded by Abby Young, but they're going to call jump ball, so it's Senator Ball. She gets it in to Elena Schmidt. She'll have it. True Blood right there with her to Adele. Adele will look back to Elena. And Elena, she'll pump fake. She gets it wide open. Adele, she'll pump fake. Get, tries to get it into Eva. Picked off, though, by 22. Lewis, she'll get it up to Bat. Bat will look to Jackson. Jackson will get it to Lewis. And Dean will go up with about a second left. No good. So the Lady Senators lose here at home 21 to 48 over the Eastern Musketeers who are uh, pretty good this year. They got about, I think it's eight seniors. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, six so and three on the year so yeah. far. So they've, and they, they're gonna win, win a lot more games, so. Yeah. And one of their uh, most recent, uh, they're the county, well. They, yes, they will. They, uh, yeah. I don't know. I think it'll come down to the tournament. If the, is there a girls' tournament? No, I don't think there is. Okay, I don't well, know I how they're going to decide. Three-way tie. <laughs> yeah. So apparently it's a three-way tie in the um, county tourney here. So uh, yeah, the lady senators. Uh, who do they play next? Uh, they play Orleans Tuesday. Orleans Tuesday, and that here. Yes, that is here. All right, so show up here, Orleans Tuesday, and if you can't, you can always just watch this. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're going to sign off here and uh, God bless.